Hello everybody, Ryan here, or MNR Productions, and welcome to my review of the LEGO Batman 2019 76122 Batcave Clayface Invasion set. The set includes six minifigures, 1,038 pieces, and will retail for $100 in the United States. The set in the U.S. doesn't come out until August 1st, although if you live outside of the U.S. and Canada, you should be able to find it right now. If you're watching the review at a later date, none of that information matters. Anyway, the box art features the Batcave build inside of the bat cave we also have batman on the top right who looks really cool kind of peeking into the scene there kind of like that on the back side of the box you're going to see all the features for the bat cave as you would expect also shows the fact that you can combine it with another lego batman summer set which honestly i didn't buy i wasn't aware that you could combine these until i got this one and i was like oh no I didn't, that's the one I didn't buy because I bought the Batmobile and I bought this one. So kind of unfortunate, but you are able to combine it with the little Batwing there, which is really nice. I wish I had it now, but oh well. We'll start out with our very smug looking Batman. He has a beautiful new torso print. Absolutely love that look. He also has a Batarang in his right hand, nothing in his left hand. And he has a very cool cape, which is the softer material. So you don't have to worry about that bending or breaking in any way when you take him in and out of the bat tank, if that's what you decide to do with him. He also has quite a bit of detail on his back print. Again, I will complain that the figures with black faces with tan or that are supposed to have tan on them end up looking very ghostly white and that is a continuous problem with lego right now so i will not stop complaining about that until it gets fixed but yes the faces do look great and i obviously love uh, when they do this little thing so that you can have the helmet on and it looks good and it still looks decent enough with the helmet off but yeah very nice figure overall all decked out in black and red is Catwoman here with a very nice helmet and hair mold all in one there. Looks very cool, dual molded. Just love the flow of that. She also has a Batarang. She has the same exact cape as Batman, except it is in red this time. She has a very good looking torso print as well with the Batman insignia there dead center. Lifting up her cape will reveal a little bit of a back print, but we'll actually be able to see that better if we take her helmet piece off. There you go. There's the full print on the back. Also, they do like the hourglass shaping there, which is nice. Then you can see what her faces look like underneath. Pretty nice. One smile, one kind of like, uh-oh type of face. Totally not Batman. Bruce Wayne here is a very clean looking character. I love the all black look for him. Just looks really clean, obviously with tan hands and the tan head. I will say another thing with the printing on Lego minifigures I've started to notice recently is if you look at like his eyes and his eyebrows, the print just looks a little bit light. It just looks spotty. Like, you notice that a lot on characters nowadays. And I don't know if that's, like, I don't know what the issue is. There's definitely some printing things going on with characters' faces at Lego. So, that is, uh, that's weird. I definitely have noticed that a lot recently, though, with the faces kind of looking a little bit faded. Like, they aren't getting the final layer of print. You can see it very well here on the back face as well. But those are the uh, two Batman characters, I guess. Here is Catwoman. She's got a little diamond there, or at least I assume it's a diamond, and she also has a little kind of rubber whip, which is not going to bend or break really too easily. She has a very nice head or helmet mold, rather, and then her head underneath has a little bit of red there to kind of convey that through the, it looks like she's got like tinted goggles on, which looks very cool. Two facial expressions, and again, you'll notice that it's like a ghostly white instead of tan, which is once again, irritating, but uh, that's the world we live in in 2019 with Lego, and I continue to complain about that. Here we have a beautiful, or at least as beautiful as you can make him look, beautiful looking Two-Face. Uh, obviously, one of his faces a little bit uglier than the other, and they do a good job of conveying that with the dual molded hair piece as well. Looks absolutely incredible. He's got a weapon there in his right hand, and he's got some dynamite or TNT ready to go in his left hand. Very nice print with his tie and suit on there, and then around back, just nothing else really going on. Unfortunately, Two-Face does not have two faces. And our final character is a very good-looking Robin. He's got these short legs. I don't know if they could have given him the mid-legs. That would have been interesting. I don't know for sure what his height is like in-universe compared to Batman in this particular era of Batman, but uh, I could have seen them going mid-legs on this, I think. His cape is different than Batman's and Catwoman's, for that matter. It's yellow, and it's got like a few more spikes on it i guess you guys can kind of see how it's more spaced out on batman there lifting it up will reveal a very detailed back torso print obviously he's got green hands to kind of represent his green gloves and then there's his second face much angrier 
than what we had around the front there. So that is Robin, and that is all six minifigures. A very good selection. No real complaints with it other than the prints, obviously, that are kind of looking washed. So the couple of extra things that are included other than the actual like Batcave section itself are the Bat Tank and Clayface. We'll take a quick look at Clayface first. They've obviously dumped him down a lot from the version that we saw as a standalone set with the Lego Batman movie, but I still think they did a decent job. They included a printed face piece there for his eyes, which looks pretty dang clean. He also has some stickers thrown on him to add a little bit of more detail, and the posability on this figure overall is actually really good. You have plenty of joints and ways to move him about however you want and even snap his arm off if you want complete freedom of movement. His hands are big enough to hold a minifigure like that. However, I can never really get it to stay on that tight. On the box, it kind of shows it doing it like this, but you know, it's still gonna fall out if you shake it hard enough. So you do have to be careful with that, but it's still pretty nice. I'm probably will never use that feature to be honest, but yeah, very nice figure. You can open and close his head and spin it all around. If that's the way you wanna play with it, it's great, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this clay face down in the comments section below. I think it's gonna be pretty mixed opinions, mostly negative though, to be honest, because this thing is, uh, it's smaller, a lot smaller than what they had. Uh, the real suggestion here is to buy the separate clay face uh, from the Batman movie if it's still around if you can find it or buy it on eBay if you actually want a good clay face because this thing just probably isn't going to cut it for a lot of people although I'm sure most kids who this is really for won't care. The Bat Tank features a black and gray design, as you would expect, with a few yellow accents. You have a claw or grapple gun here on the right attached to a stud shooter, and you also have like some giant missiles on the stud shooter there as well. I plopped the extras inside the cockpit area, which is where we'll put Batman here in a moment. You can see the Bat insignia there on the front with some sticker details on these panels. Same here on the back. Very nice and souped up looking vehicle. Has six wheels, three on each side, which are all very low friction, so you shouldn't have any trouble really rolling rolling this around on most surfaces, which is nice. Now these stud shooters work pretty simply as you would expect, like stud shooters. And the flick fire missiles here on the top, you can push one at a time or you can push them multiple at a time like that. And this thing is pretty dang neat. It can kind of spin and contort into all kinds of directions. So you can take out the Joker from, or I guess Two-Face in this set uh, with any angle you need to, which is pretty dang awesome. I really like this part of the bad tank here. But yeah, let's get Batman in here and see what he looks like. It is just two studs in there, so it should be a breeze to get him in and out, which is important for me because if you have more than just the two studs with the tiles, then sometimes the figure can get stuck inside, and that's what I really hate. And mostly when the figure gets stuck, you end up pulling the head with the torso off and leaving behind just the legs, and that is even more frustrating. So there we go. The cockpit is on like that, just holding him in there, and you can see... If I lay him back, looks a little bit cooler that way. But yeah, it doesn't really encase him all the way. He just kind of more like a seatbelt, lap belt type thing. And this is a very nice addition to the set. Also some pretty fun building techniques as you go through this. But yeah, let's take a look at the back cave in the background. This is going to be fun. I'm really excited to look at this back cave. We will start off on the right side because, you know, we're going to need Batman here in a minute. Anyway, well, there's Bruce Wayne. He's got his phone next to him, the red phone, ready to receive a phone call. And I assume that phone call will tell him that he needs to quickly become Batman. Well, there's one way to do it with this set. And they pretty ingeniously engineered it into this kind of tower here. At first, I thought I was building like a elevator and I wasn't really sure what was going on. But if we pick this up and we flip the play set around, which you can do with one hand, thankfully. There is actually a small red little Technic piece there, and that's basically what you're gonna pull back on. And when you pull back on that, Batman and this entire kind of thing will fall down. So if we put that there, uh, all you have to do is pull back on this red lever and you're gonna have, basically, if he's hiding behind the rock, he's gonna come down here and then you're gonna have Batman. So basically, Bruce Wayne becomes Batman and it's like a Darth Vader's transformation set except for Bruce Wayne and Batman. I think that's really cool. So here we go. We pull it all the way back, down they go. Bruce Wayne goes behind the rock, so you can't really see him. Then you have this hatch here that you can close if you want the whole top side to be uh, usable. Then you can close that back up. But basically he becomes Batman and Batman drops down and there you have him. So it's actually a really nice and well done feature. Uh, to reset it, it's pretty simple. You just lift it all back up, all the way up. Oh, shoot, we have to open the hatch and there he goes. If you want to reset the whole thing, you have to pull the 
piece out on the back side so that it's not blocking it. And honestly, you, it can just fall out at that point. So you do need to be careful if you don't want to lose it when you have it in this position. I mean, you shouldn't lose it because it's not that hard to keep track of, but yeah. And then you push the rod back into the backside, basically holding the whole thing up. You can see the rod crossing there underneath. And there it is, ready to go again. You can grab Bruce Wayne, who I knocked out when I was messing around with it. And there you go, ready to roll. And Batman goes back in there. You can just stick him in through this backside. Pretty dang neat feature. But anyway, we're done with that section. Moving along, we have Batman's weight room, where Robin, I guess, is just kind of waiting. That's where I decided to place Robin. You have, like, a Batman water bottle with black and gold there. And then you actually have the bar and weights on the side of it and you can have batman basically bench press here so it's actually pretty dang neat and this thing is just on there you can pull it off or leave it on it will fall off pretty easily if you're not careful and that's actually something you probably could lose on this set unlike the rod piece that holds up the whole elevator mechanism that i was talking about but yeah that thing is not on there at all very tight so you could lose that theoretically over time i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people do underneath that is a small weapons room which is probably the most lackluster room of all the rooms on this set you can pull this out to access the weapons you have a few batarangs and then like a grapple gun there so that's pretty neat but again it doesn't like bring too much to the table it's just a weapons rack i'm telling you my hands are too big for this set i just can never and a lot of the lego sets in general i feel like i always have trouble trying to get things in these small rooms like this i, I really hope that kids don't have the same problems i do and i doubt they do up here we have like a high tech area i guess that's like a thing for batman's back which i'll throw on batman's back here in a moment we'll actually come back to that i do want to show that to you but first i want to show you the trophy room down below we have the stone dinosaur statue we have the giant penny with abraham lincoln that is a sticker on there and then we have the joker card there so that is the little trophy room more of a little display thing and just like the other room you could theoretically pull this out but uh, i don't know what you're going to do with it once you pull it out but that is a thing you can do i suppose and then place it back in and hopefully you would have a, a much easier time than I do. This set clearly not made with uh, adults in mind, but I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Moving up to the top of the set, we have the computer room with Gotham City Alert 1 with the bat signal in the sky. Got a dog, bank account. Oh, bank account. Oh my God, he's rich. Wow, Bruce Wayne is loaded. That's like $83 billion. Looks like we have Rob. Is that Robin? Incoming call from Robin? That looks like Robin. That's Robin. <laughs> A lot of cool stuff on here. Wayne Industries there with the bat tank. Huh? Looks just like it. I would, I would reckon that is the bat tank there. And then up above that looks like we have the Joker and a DNA scan that's matching the Joker. So I suppose they found something that they thought the Joker did and found out that it is the Joker. A little bat insignia there. Oh, Catwoman in the chair, by the way, and a little computer. I guess I should show you guys that. I'm sure you wanted to see that. Pretty cool. There's the DNA that they're... Oh, yeah. This is something I wanted to mention. This is a microscope, and it's the only time I think I've ever stopped to think... I wonder how long it took them to design this. This is a Lego microscope, and I wonder if someone was just screwing around one day and came up with that design, or if that is a design that took a couple weeks to come up with. Because I built it, and I was like, what is this? Why is this a thing? I don't know what this is. And then I realized it was a microscope, and I'm like, that's actually really cool. And then it, it kind of occurred to me. I was like, I wonder how long it took someone to design that thing that I just built in about five seconds. So just kind of a neat thought that I thought I had. Anyway, we have a little roadway underneath here where the bat tank can fit underneath so that's actually pretty neat just rolls over that kind of like a speed bump there not too exciting but it's a good entryway into the bat cave and it kind of creates the illusion that the bat cave is inside a cave right because it has an entrance so that's kind of important i think and the final section here is kind of a jail cell with the thing that can hold the bat wing on top which i am a little bit disappointed that i didn't buy the bat wing yeah i didn't know that the bat wing went on top of here but yes the bat wing can basically sit on top of there i guess we could use the batmobile in lieu of the bat wing eh, probably not a great idea so yes the bat wing will fit on there though very nicely apparently so that is a good set combo if you do have or do want to get both sets i just threw two face up there because there was nothing else to put up there and it's so sad down below we do have a jail cell with catwoman in there and obviously there is a door there is a little lock panel there but let's say she can't get out of the door well there's a way to help catwoman escape maybe two face can use his dynamite to blow up the door all you have to do is turn that knob on the back here just turn to the right and bang catwoman is free to go Woo! out of jail baby and yeah Yes, this is pretty easy to put back thanks to the little grip thing that they have you basically just place it on down to the studs there and you are set to go so that's pretty much every feature of the bat cave except batman's 
big thing that you can put on his back. Let's see what that looks like. To me, this looks like a jetpack with saw blades. You have a couple of thrusters down here on the bottom, which are adjustable, and you can turn kind of in a few different directions. But more importantly, up above there, or maybe less importantly, it depends on what you think about it, but there's a couple of saw blades where you can cut people in half or something, or maybe even two-facing, you just go... Neom. So those are Batman's chainsaw attachments, and that is everything in the set. Let's talk about my final thoughts. So, I think the big question to start out with is, is the design good? Yes, the design is good. It's basically built into three sections. You have left, middle, and right, and the whole thing can be picked up from the center without it breaking, which is very important. You can use just one hand to pick it up, and if you couldn't do that, I'm sure I would have broken it plenty of times now because that is the only logical place to me to pick up the set, and I probably would have screwed it up so many times. I'm just sure I would have. As far as the minifigure selection goes, Catwoman, Robin, we have Batwoman up top there, Batman, Two-Face, and Bruce Wayne is good. Six minifigures for $100 I think is pretty fair and not too far out of the ordinary. More would have been nice, but then again, you kind of get cramped if you add more. I don't know where you would put more figures on a set like this. So. I think $100 is absolutely a fair price for this set. It seems like a really fun play set. The clay face, the bat tank looks like you can have some pretty good showdowns as well as some showdowns with your minifigures inside of the actual bat cave, or you could just have clay face take over the whole thing. It's up to you. That's the great part. A lot of good fun details all the rocks and stuff that they add to it give it that in ground underground in the earth type feel and that is a really good feeling for this set like they do a good job of capturing the way you're supposed to feel about this set even though they do use the ugly big no like one piece rocks like that's what they use but i think it's good enough and they do use some smaller stuff in other areas but for the most part the bulk of it is at least for the support of the set is going to be those big ones and that can be a little off-putting for some people i'm going to give this set a 9 out of 10 i'm pleasantly surprised with my first ever lego bat cave i've had a lot of fun with this set the bruce wayne feature is great plenty of fun stuff in the middle section of course catwoman trying to break out of jail and the integration with other sets namely the Batwing is really nice and no the Batmobile will not fit through that entrance I was a little bit disappointed to find that out as well just the Bat Tank so sorry guys sorry to burst your bubble but yes let me know what you guys think about this set in the comments section below leave a like if you enjoyed my review you can check out my review of the Batmobile on my YouTube channel maybe even subscribe while you're there I have a ton of other Lego summer 2019 set reviews out on my YouTube channel right now so make sure you check those out thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one peace out